Okay, the first si assignment that you are going to do in Excel, we're going to make a chart. And you have a handout that has the information on it that I have already typed on the screen. You'll type the n a title right here, candy, then you'll type the names of the candies, and you should finish on A11. You'll type the title yearly sales. You'll type the numbers without any commas in them in the B column. Now you'll see that you can't read all the names of the chocolate candy. So we're going to click on the little line between the A and the B so that we can see the whole name. And then we want those commas and dollar signs in this column. So we're going to format it. I'm going to click the B. I'm going to go up here where it says number. I'm going to tell it it's currency with zero decimal places. When numbers get into the millions, people typically do not use decimal places. The symbol is a dollar sign. We don't have any negative numbers, so we don't care about this. We click OK, and then everything looks nice. The next thing we do is we highlight what we want on the chart. The word chart is the same as the word graph. So if you're more familiar with it, it bar charts, bar graphs are the same thing. That's just another word for the same thing. So at this point, I'm going to highlight what I want on the chart. I do not want these titles. I just want M&Ms down to 19 million for three musketeers. Then I'm going to click insert because I want to put it in my chart and I'm going to click the kind of chart I want. In this case, I'm going to go with a pie. I'm going to do this one because I like the way it separates it. Okay, then it's going to put the chart on there and now we're going to manipulate the chart because it's on top of here. If we printed this, it would be on two pieces of paper. And so we're going to move everything around a little bit. So I'm just going to actually click on the edge of it, drag it over. Now, the first thing we're going to do is to see where the edge of the paper is because we can't tell. So we're going to click out. Whenever I say click out, I mean to click in one of the cells. Any cell, pick a cell. Then we're going to go to Print Preview. And at this point, I can tell everything's on one piece of the paper. Down here at the bottom, it says Preview Page 1 of 1. I know there's only one page. But I also know there's all this white area that I could be using. So I'm going to hit Close. And I'm going to make it... Do you see this little dotted line now? That's how I know where the edge of the page is. The next video will show you how to make this pretty.